Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is the polygonal lasso tool. Right, so again, this is similar to the marquee tool in the sense that you actually select which parts of the screen you want to choose, but now you have more flexibility. So as you can see, I'm actually just clicking to create a, um, a shape. And then when you're done with selecting that, you can just go back to where you started. You click on that and then it, it highlights. So if you click on new layer and then fill in that part with a color, you can not you notice that it does uh, similar to what the marquee tool does. But the difference is with this option, you can create custom shapes. So I'm just going to press Command D to accept that and then just disable that. Now, if I click and hold down again, you'll see that we have the, um, the lasso tool. Again, with the lasso tool, it gives you that flexibility of actually drawing the part you need to select on the image. So say I need to select this part so I can just start drawing. So as you can see, it just gives you that flexibility of either drawing with the lasso tool. With the polygonal tool, it's more point based. So you click on the points that you want and then that completes your selection. Let's move on to the next one, which is the quick selection tool. Now the quick selection tool is used to select uh, a part of the image that you want. So if you click and then drag, as you can see, we're actually selecting that part. Okay, so now if the selection is a bit random or it goes crazy, what you do is, I'm just going to delete these two layers because we don't need them anymore. So I'll so highlight them and then click this bin and also that. Right, so let's start, let's do this again. We select by just clicking on the image and then that enables us to select that part. So this is what the, uh, the selection tool does, the quick selection tool does. Again, you can be used to, um, to select maybe the whole face like that. So once we've selected the face or the body, what we can do is we can then have this selection on its own layer as I showed you in the first video. So that's the selection tool. But if you click and hold it down, you also have the magic wand tool. Now what that does, I'm just going to get rid of this by pressing command D, is if you click once or a few times, it tends to select that part that you've clicked. So as you can see, it's, it selects that whole part. And now if I click on the face, it sort of like tries to select the, the, the parts for you. Okay, so that's your magic wand tool. So you can always go in there and start adjusting how you want the selection to be. But this is a starting point for making selections on your document. Okay, let's go to 